channel informatica hub i hope you guys are doing absolutely fine so here today i'm going to talk on background verification how important is background verification what is the need of background verification what you should take care during background verification and what is bgb or background verification so first of all before starting the video i'd like to introduce myself i am an it guy and i make videos regarding it companies college college reviews placement reviews technology reviews compass to corporate relations and all the things that you can think related to IT and more. So if you're new to this channel, I would request you all to subscribe my channel and share it among your friend group so that yes, people can know about me and yes, they can also contribute their input in my channel because I want to create a platform where we all can share our genuine experience. So bohati lamba chora intro ke baad, let's start and talk straight forward on the topic. What is background verification? First of all, see when any of the candidate join any of the company or any of the institution there is a proud process themed as background verification that happened background verification is a process to check whether the document or the commitment that you have mentioned or committed to the company or a institution without before joining is correct or not suppose there are cases like you mentioned that yes your prior experience is in this technology for five years in this kind of company so yes that may be correct and that may be false that's the reason they do background verification you might have seen in the cases for the fresher they do background verification now you might be thinking for fresher why they do background verification see whenever a company came to come to your college and yes when they talk regarding the campus eligibility who are eligible for that placement drive who are not eligible for that placement drive in that criteria there are some criteria like yes they should be having 60 percent 70 percent or above that kind of stuff so suppose if background verification is not happening people can fill anything as per the company requirement and yes they can enter as per the company norms and policies मतलब अगर कंपनी बोल रहे हैं कि 70 परसेंट चाहिए उन्होंने कमिट करके अपने फॉर्म में डाल दिया 70 परसेंट यस दे आर हैविंग 70 परसेंट बट व्हाट इज द प्रूफ दैट यू आर हैविंग 70 परसेंट व्हाट इज द प्रूफ दैट यस यू आर हैविंग एक्सपीरियंस इन दिस टेक्नोलॉजी सपोज यू आर मेंशनिंग दैट यस यू आर हैविंग एक्सपीरियंस इन दिस टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर एन एक्सपीरियंस कैंडिडेट वॉट इज द प्रूफ that yes you are having for that there is a, another team known as background verification team or you can say as the clearance team who give you clearance during your onboarding okay onboarding clearing clear clearance is like just like it will be a kind of a green flag to your entry to your company maybe you are onboarded but your document are failing maybe in terms of marks requirement maybe in terms of company fulfillment requirement fulfillment maybe in terms of your police or any criminal records maybe in terms of what kind of person you are what is your educational background everything is verified over there so never ever think as a fresher that you can bluff them okay never ever try ever to bluff them because there are various reasons and there are various impact when you try to bluff during your bgb okay there are cases you might have heard the news like yes essential and cognizant fired 10,000 employees because of the fake experiences what happened during the virtual onboarding many of the people have just submitted the fake experiences during the peak time and yes they were onboarded as there was a company requirement at that time but yes you know now IT market run like a fish market it depends upon the demand and supply now you think that as company is not having so much of requirement as expected at that time there should be a reason why they should clear out their system how they should clear out their system just like how you clear out your wastage in morning to take intake something else just like that they want to clear out so they want to take out the things like uh, what are the they want to verify they keep on verifying on different percepts uh, different points that all the things are correct or not yes but this is a very wrong practice i would suggest you never try to follow that yes you can you can say little bit of um, fake things are good like you are you are not being into a development but yes learning development and telling that yes you have done this kind of development can be considerable okay but not only creating a fake letters and putting in the company that yes you are having experience of three years and all that will definitely not going to work okay so yes 
this is the case about background verification so keep your things ready like all the government ids your mark sheet your final mark sheet your school mark sheet whatever the things that you have mentioned police verification will be done by background verification team they are there are a separate entity for that who are responsible for doing all those things so no need to worry on that part that will be taken that should be taken care by them but yes rest thing you have to manage and how you have to manage you have to put all the correct details whenever you are joining the company that's my personal suggestion all the things that you have done just put all those things yes you can have a little customization only after when you learn but yes not fake with the company not fake with the experience letter yes little bit can be adjusted but not in a huge manner don't just modify a to b or b a to z something like that so i hope you got a lot of inside what is background verification let's talk about the onboarding update so first of all i would like to tell you all i will not stretch it much more in very short i will tell you about the onboarding yes onboarding process is have been started they are onboarding people on batches the thing is like they are not onboarding in bulk you might be seeing that few few people are getting the offer letter yes they are matching with the client requirement if there is a client requirement they are matching with that also the wipro wipro um, during a meet wipro leadership also told regarding this the delayed is not for this first time every year as per the business requirement fresher offer letter are delayed this time people are worried too much and they have become they have put up the matter in the social media kind of stuff because this is an era of social media na so people have put a put a concern over here that yes the offer has been delayed it's a normal procedure whenever there is a requirement of client they on board fresher that's the things we pro leadership mentioned so yes no need to worry they also mentioned yes there is a negative and positive market so right now the market is negative their expectation has not been met what they have think earlier don't um, don't miss try to uh, think, think negative or take negative right now yes you can hunt for more opportunities but what i would say keep calm and yes keep focusing on what you want to achieve okay try to learn the things because all this onboarding and all is not in your circle of control it will be totally depending upon the global market your company requirement your client requirement and yes your company what i can say your company set of mind what i can say just like this what you can do i can understand the pain point what you might be thinking right now yaar mere ko to chahiye isko bolne se kya hoga i can understand that thing but yes i would suggest you focus on learning focus on the new things try to grab new opportunity try for new better opportunity also if you think that yes you are getting something better than that you can join that also so i was a little bit i thought i should share also this regarding onboarding update by wipro so let's uh, let's keep the video till here here i hope you guys get lots of info from this if you think this video was not a time waste then put a subscribe like button if you think this video was a time waste put a dislike button comment in the comment box that yes the, your videos are really horrible you can comment here i am a public open open minded public i love to hear from public what exactly public want because i am here in order to create a content and i want if i deliver something it's add something to you okay don't i don't want to stretch it right now acha laga subscribe kar dena channel channel ko subscribe karke jana i am here in order to make a community you also support me in order to create a community where we all can share our genuine experience in our website in our platform everywhere so that all the newbies or all the fresher or all the experience who are looking for something or all the particular community people like sap sfdc other other oracle and all people can join together and share their opinion till then i want to keep this video till there i hope like it i hope you guys liked it if you don't like it put a dislike button comment in the comment box that kya bakwas like all the best for all your upcoming event from camp oh, yeah.